are you doing? I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? The Divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. Though, I suppose it's not impossible. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Survived the crash. What's there. going on with that room? Worth checking for supplies, Looks maybe. Unstable somehow. 
approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best prepared for an attack by squid. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. Whoa! Easy does it. You really, really don't want to do that. Not a threat. Just an observation. Much obliged. Besides, I suspect the real villain here is one we have in common. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Gotcha, private, nothing to do with me. And yet, if we indulge in the hypothetical for a moment, the insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon, uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Shh. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you. Keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. 
Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. You wretched little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. There. A mind flare. And it's hurt. Even injured, it's dangerous. Be careful. Death is too good for it. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting
with haste. No time for mercy.
The last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. 